Wix newsletter tutorial, how to create a newsletter step by step. Hi there you guys, welcome to another video and in this video I'll be showing you how you can make a newsletter right here on Wix. Now a lot of you might know that Wix is a website builder platform but it also has SEO marketing and SEO um, features so you can access. Just click this button right over here or hover over it. Now under marketing and SEO you want to choose email marketing right here. Now first part to first part of creating a newsletter is for you to set your goals. Now here are some of the goals that you can actually choose. You can share news about your company, um, products or industry. Others is to establish yourself as a thought leader in your field. Next is to build customer engagement with your brand and you can also drive traffic to your website and capture leads. So um, I think working with two goals is uh enough already uh, if you want to work with all of these goals it's going to be totally stuffy your newsletter will look um not eye-catching and not really easy to read so uh once you've decided to uh what once you've decided your goals you can now build your email list and uh, this is also important because you sort your um yeah you sort the leads that you'll be sending the newsletter to okay so here on wix there are templates that you can actually choose from and you can choose right over here on this area and you can click more templates right here to look at the other templates that are around so for this tutorial i'll i have decided that i'll become a uh, clothing brand that uh, that is releasing like a new product line so i'm gonna try to um choose a template that is uh, suitable for that purpose or for that goal okay now um, yeah, this one. This one will do and I'm just gonna go ahead and click on use template right here. By the way, it's also okay for you to start start from scratch, but I don't suggest that because it's really hard to start from scratch when you're dealing with newsletters because you guys, uh, the most important for part of newsletters is of course the layout. The text and the content come second. So if your layout isn't uh, eye-catching it's uh, or too stuffy, a lot, a lot of text and not properly curated, uh, chances are your uh, readers will not really be interested to browse all the way down. So it only takes 8 to 10 seconds, you guys, for you to catch your reader's attention. So what you want to do is to put in eye-catching colors and um, outrageous text. Not really outrageous, but, you know, something that stands out. And uh, I, I also believe that trying to create curate this uh, curate yeah the text that you'll put is an important way to catch your readers' attention. So try to put big words and stuff like that. And for that matter, I've already uh, created like text that I will put here on my newsletter. So here they are. And I've also created like a folder where I can uh, look at, check out my uh, the photos that I'll be uploading. So there's a, a folder right here. It's uh, it makes it easier, you guys, for you to sh uh, for you to sort all the things that you'll need. For example, like photos and text. So what you want to do uh, next is to just copy and paste them on the templates that you chose. So for this one, I chose like uh this template, and now let's start editing it. All right, there are themes here, background, and uh, we can change that by clicking these two buttons right here. So let's check out for other themes that are here. So you can either opt in for default, light, basic, and onyx. I think I'm going to go with onyx right over here. So what I want to do is to just click it and then put it here. So I think our new collection is here is totally fine already because I'm getting my, you know, I'm doing the same kind of, uh, yeah, the same kind of, of email marketing now what I want to do is to just add in the logo here so I can do that by hitting edit right here and change image by clicking that button and then choose um, either from site files or you can uh, upload your own file let's create a new folder first so let me just name this photos okay so now double click photos and upload media right here. You can upload from computer or you can just drag them from your computer as well. Now I just wanna add all of this in. Okay. Now it's all uploading. All the photos that I'm gonna be needing is already here. So I'm gonna change the logo. So what I wanna do is to choose the perfect image. So I wanna choose like um, a, a landscape photo so there you go I, uh, it's not really just the logo it has a photo on it so what I want to do now 
is to crop the photo so that it only gets this area. All right, so I can just click crop and resize from the sidebar and then just, uh, yeah, just drag it all the way down here to the logo because this is what I need. And yeah, okay, so let me just, yeah, that one is, looks totally cool. Okay, I can add in a filter as well. Let's try and uh, uh, check the enhance, crop and resize. There's also an option to remove the background, you guys. And uh, okay, background. All right, it looks like this. Let me just choose like a texture or something because uh, it looks plain. All right, there you go. The, it, it looks a little bit better now. So I'm just going to fade it a little bit that way. And then I'm going to hit save. Okay, so now my logo is there. It looks totally different now. It's totally amazing for me. Wow, but uh, I, I, it's it, it's going to be better if I have like a more detailed photo of the logo. Okay, so I'm not going to change anything here because this is totally what I want. Next is to change the image right over here. You can just do it by doing the same thing that we did a while ago, hitting edit and then change image. So what I want to do now is to choose a portrait, no, a portrait photo that I already uploaded here on our uh, folder. And yeah, I'm going to choose this photo. Okay, and I'm going to hit save. And then I can just add to page right here. And then there you go. The photo is now changed. And now I'm going to change all of these photos to the ones that I already have. Change image. And click on the folder right here. So basically, I want to choose um, this one, front and back, add to page. And also this one, I want to edit this, change image. Next is the photos again. And then hit this, uh, the other portion or the other view of the product right here. And I want to change this text. Let's edit because it doesn't really... Um, represent what I wanted to say to my readers. Okay, so I like what I said, I already created like um, a notepad that contains all of the text that I want to put in. So let me just uh, copy and paste it, this one. So if you want to read it, 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 it says like combining comfort and style, we took it to the next level to bring out the best of our garments designed and handcrafted with you in mind. Our streetwear collections are made to break bounds with the traditional embracing radical fashion and turning away from the contemporary. Okay. Now, as you can see, this is how my newsletter is looking looks really cool now for this i'm gonna change it as well i have yeah a landscape photo that i'm saving so let's hit edit sorry and then let's change image and let's put in uh the first photo that we crop but this time let's put it whole there you go and what else you can add in text here as well I'm going to change this. So as you can see, you guys, once you have everything ready, once you have them typed in, once you have your photos on a folder, it's it's going to be really easy to create your own uh, newsletter. See, it's uh, just what I'm doing. So now you can edit this button right here. So what you want to do is to just link up your site. You can do it uh, by changing it right over here. You can enter a, another URL, just a cl triple click and then backspace and then put in your site. It can either be a Google site or a Wix site if you have that and a lot more different site uh, as well. And if you have like an online store, e-commerce platform, maybe you can just link them down here. Okay, so this is how my, um, uh, my newsletter looks like. Now let's preview and test it. All right. So this is how it's going to look like when you start sending this to your email lists. Okay. There you go. So you guys, essentially what you'll need to do to create a newsletter is to choose photos that are really eye-catching. Remember to uh, not go too wide. Uh, always go with portrait when you're trying to make a newsletter. So it keeps people uh, browsing up until the end and you want them to like input their email so you want to put in here like uh 
this one it's, it's it's really essential this block so you can now add in your email right here when when they opt to like get news from you in the future so yeah that's it for this video you guys i hope it has been helpful let me know if i missed anything out down in the comments below but yeah that's it for this video see you again in the next video peace out